In light of Israeli Apartheid Week, Echini Live looked at the importance of international solidarity and the role South African universities play in the Palestinian liberation struggle. Professor Farid Isak spoke on why academic boycotts are vital to the movement. The immediate affinity with the uh, struggle of the Palestinians, it is felt uh, in South Africa very palpably. Firstly, because of our own experience as a people who have lived, uh, suffered and died under apartheid. This on the one hand. And on the other hand, uh, memories that we sometimes are prepared to forgive, but not that easily forget. The University of Johannesburg, as you point out, uh, decided to cut off ties with Ben-Gurion University in the Negev because Ben-Gurion University uh, is actively complicit uh, inside uh, inside apartheid Israel. While student participation at Rhodes seemed poor in comparison to other universities, Wesley Seal assured it would pick up in coming years as the movement has always been supported on this campus. A campus such as WITS, you have a strong Jewish community and a strong uh, Muslim community in Johannesburg itself, never mind WITS. So the Israeli-Palestine thing, while we don't want to make it a religious thing, and it's not a religious struggle, um, of course has very ardent supporters in there. Comrades, I want to ask you to prevent engaging with private security. It ties in with the question of what happened a couple of years ago at Rhodes. I think it became very heated at Rhodes, and the ability of Rhodes, certainly because of Grahamstown, of where it is, the location, it has the ability to cool down. It's always the campus in all of the, in the country, we saw this with Fees Must Fall, to always be late on protests. But now we're picking up on it again. And I, I, I'm, cert, I'm almost certain that in a couple of years' time again, in a year or two's time, if not as soon as next year, that it will become heated again because it is a very heated discussion. Yusuf Vahid, a member of the Muslim Students Association at Rhodes, stressed the importance of international solidarity, empathy, and standing up in the fight for human rights. I've been there three times, and, and the Israeli forces and the Zionist government don't want people to enter Israel is because once you enter, you can see what is happening and the atrocities taking place and the occupation. One thing is hearing about it and one thing is visually seeing it. And that has a greater impact on people's hearts. So I encourage people from across the world, whether you are Christian, whether you are Muslim, whether whatever faith you follow, visit this place and observe what is happening in Palestine and observe the, 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 the occupation. Basically, the, the message from the Palestinians when I went there is that financial aid is important, we all know that. But one thing more they wanted is that they explained to us, whoever you spoke to, when you go back to your country, wherever you may be from, whether you're the UK, whether South Africa, tell people what is happening in, in uh, Palestine. To stand up for Palestine, you do not need to be Muslim. You just need to be human uh, uh, because these are human rights that have been violated. As the week comes to an end, students, academics and activists stood in solidarity by holding a demonstration in light of Israeli Apartheid Week. Free Palestine! Free! This is Kwezi Bovula for RUTV, Grahamstown.